Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jose. I am the Eight Paladin, and welcome all to another brand new video. Now, let's begin this part by saying that I now have 600 subscribers. Wow. Okay. Okay. I think I got that out of my system. Oh, wow. Okay, but for real, guys, thank you all so much for 600 subscribers. My god, 600 and it's still going. Seriously, you guys must love my content so much that you keep on smashing that sub button. I feel that I might come closer to reaching 1,000 subs by the time I get it 2022. Like that shit would ever happen. Anyways, I wanted to celebrate this video with you guys by doing, you guessed it, another Q&A video. So I've already asked some of you guys some questions on both my Twitter, my YouTube community tab, my DeviantArt, my Instagram, go check out my Instagram. And you guys have some very good questions, some good questions, some nice questions, some that are interesting, and some that I answered before, but I'm going to answer them again so you guys can get the clear picture. So without further ado, let's begin the video, shall we? This first one comes from Austin. He asks, who is your favorite Sonic character and why they are your favorite? I've already answered this question before, but I'm going to say it again, it's Shadow the Hedgehog. I love his appearance, I love his chaos abilities, I love his personality, well the old personality anyways, and I love his backstory. Now I've always said I could stop butchering his goddamn character! Blazing Andy 18 says, to the Egg Paladin, what got you into the Sonic series in the first place? Well if you saw my original Sonic retrospective video, which I'm going to assume you haven't, I actually got into the Sonic series when my father actually got me a Sega Genesis along with Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, Sonic and Knuckles, but not Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Yeah, my daddy was still fucking cheap. <laughs> Regardless, ever since I played those games, I noticed that Sonic series was still going stronger to this very day. And since it was still going strong, I wanted to give the franchise another shot in my teenage years, and after playing Sonic Advance 2 and many games in the future, I became a huge fan of the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. Thanks for getting me into this series, pops! <laughs> God, I miss him. This next one comes from my bro, Blue Bolt VA. He asks, what do you consider a great Sonic game should do? Either gameplay or characters? Very good question there, bro. As for my answer, while it's good to have good characters be written in a very good story, gameplay is the main factor in Sonic games because, of course, it's a video game franchise. You need to have very good gameplay, otherwise the game as a whole is gonna suck. So while I love the Sonic characters, gameplay must always take first before anything else. You hear me say I get to work on that sh**? Bolts the Snow Leper ass, the funniest glitch you experienced while playing a game? Also congrats my dude. First of all, thank you both for the kind comment, I really appreciate it. And second of all, to answer your question, I don't find glitches to be funny at all, I find out to be more of a mere annoyance, but if I had to find one funny glitch, I would say that I remember falling off that bridge in Super Mario Sunshine after trying to rush really really fast, and what happened after that was I actually clipped out of the bridge to the point where I fell to my own death. <laughs> It was kind of funny at first, but after that, it was kind of annoying. Chris Wolf 90 asks, what is your most favorite video game boss and why? I'm going with the first boss fight against Baldur, the masked aluminum sage from Bandana 2. This guy is badass, he's quick in the draw, and I absolutely love we had to fight against him and his giant angel creature both at the same time. It's frantic, badass, and goddamn juicy, but not as juicy as, oh mama. Diana, aka Mithermine, asks, if you were into dudes, who would you date? No one. I'm not into dudes and I never will. Now get off my Twitter feed! <laughs> Great Master Frank asks, Question, what would you do if one day when you're in your bathroom doing your things and suddenly I came through the toilet like this and give you a thumbs up? First off, I would say thank you, and second of all, I stroke or I Daroke? I'm sorry if I butchered your name, I apologize. Anyways, what do you think that IDW Sonic series should improve upon? Two things, the characters and the writing. I'm gonna be honest here, when I first read IDW Sonic the Hedgehog, I was thrilled at first, but ever since the comic kept on going and going, some of the characters in their writing began to downgrade in my honest opinion. Especially in the Metal Virus Saga. Sonic was acting like an overall pacifist, the other Starline was not a threatening villain at all, the characters feel way too simplistic and boring in my opinion, with the exception being Whisper the Wolf, and the writing was so bland and dragged on to the point where I stopped reading the comics entirely. This is why I prefer Archie over IDW, because at least the characters are much more well written, they were complex but easy to understand, and the world building was actually fun and interesting. Although I will admit Archie has some problems here and there. Ew! 
And before people are gonna argue with me in the comments, yes, I know about the stupid mandates. However, Ian Flynn, the writer of IDW, confirmed that Sega is not keeping a tight leash on the IDW Sonic series. So they are capable of what they want to put in the IDW Sonic comics, but the way how it is now, yeah, that shit needs to improve real fast. Leah Serenity Rose asked, What is your favorite Sonic game of all time? I said this before and I'll say it again, it's Sonic Unleashed. It has the best gameplay, best music, best story, best writing, best enemies that made me lose my manhood, and I love the chemistry between Sonic and Chip. This game is an absolute masterpiece, and it deserves to be ported into future consoles, or else I'll get pissed. Lucas the Perfect Hedgehog asks, Jose, congrats on 600 subscribers. As for my question, in terms of the Sonic franchise storyline, which Sonic game do you think has the most fun and intense gameplay lineup and why? Well, first of all, thank you for the kind comment there, Lucas, I appreciate it. And also to answer your question, I'll have to go with Sonic Adventure. The game feels fun and also intense in terms of story and gameplay. Some people say that it hasn't aged well as certain other games, which I completely disagree with. Yeah, people will say shit like that need brain surgery. Mario Sonic Birthday 45 asks, what do you do on your free time? Go on the internet, eat some food, go on the internet, take some naps, play video games, watch some anime clips on sexy waifus and do my business. Go on the internet. Oh god, I'm gonna butcher this username. I know that for a fact. Anyways, Monhamd Mooseed1000. I'm so very sorry. This person asked, To Jose, what do you like about the Sonic franchise? The music. I love the music in Sonic games. Sonic games have some issues here, here, there, and there. But if there's one thing that Sonic games always get right, is the music. I love the mixed genre of the Sonic music tracks in games, and that's what made me love Sega for its music creativity. Well, for the most part. Movie Sonic Daily asked, What is your favorite food? Lazar. I love this kind of pasta. I love the taste, and I love how much cheese, salsa, and beef is in this. Bitch, call me Garfield, because I'm swallowing these babies whole. Gay! This one comes from my handsome boy, Nitsa Gamer. He asked, any non-Sonic games you plan to cover in your channel? Oh, absolutely! I plan to make some videos for other franchises like Kingdom Hearts, the Yakuza games, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, and many more. I have an idea of what I want to talk about for my next video, but you'll just have to wait and see. Silver180 asks, Congratulations, buddy! Super proud of you! So, anywho, on with the question for you, my favorite buddy ever. So now, how did you come up with the voice with Shao the Hedgehog, aka the Ultimate Life Form? Everyone says you sound like him, like, how do you do it, my friend? Well, first of all, thank you very much for the kind comment there, Silver18. Oh my god, it is so heartwarming. Also, put some periods and commas in your sentences. As for your question, what I do is that I listen to old Shadow voice clips, listen to how they sound, and I try to replicate it to see if it matches the original voice. It doesn't have to be perfect by any means, but I try my best to match it closely to David Humphrey's impression. After all, I'm the coolest. This next one is from Skyhawk. He asked, how many character can you voice slash impersonate as? First of all, it's characters, get your grammar on point, bro. As for your question, so far I can only impersonate three characters, those being Shao the Hedgehog, well that's a start. Do tell me more. Vector the Crocodile. Have you seen an alligator eat a crocodile? And Metal Sonic. In the past, you have taken me here when you were troubled. I can also do Sonic as well, but honestly, I suck at it. You bet, Shadow. We're not gay. We're lovers! You suck! Also, if you're curious on a non-Sonic character I can voice as, well, let's just say I can also do Muscle Man for regular show, just in case you're curious. You know who else is curious? MY MOM! SMF-064 asks, what is your favorite E-Series model from previous Sonic games? That's actually a very good question. In my opinion, I think I'm going with the E-2000 from Sonic Heroes. The design and his attacks look badass, it can fly, it has a shield, and has a laser that can- <laughs> Yep, that answers my question. Sonic the Dragon Hog VA asks, What language do you speak in real life? I speak German. Huh? Nah, just kidding. I only speak English and Spanish. Though my Spanish speaking kinda suck. Siguiente pregunta por favor. Super Samus Zack says, Physical or digital? Physical, cause digital wastes so much memory. Like my brain cells when I look at Twitter. <laughs> also nice grammar, bro. That clip maker guy asked, if you were responsible for bringing back Sonic Boom, how would you do it? Steal money from banks, pay the money to Sega, get a dude to help with Boom, make Sonic Boom Season 3, kill the walrus bitch, and make lots of money. Done. And here's the last question. This one comes from Megan. Commission's open. She asks, kind of random, but favorite thing to put in a sandwich? I put in some sweet, delicious ketchup. Huh? I love the sauce of the tomato packy in my sandwich. Yeah, I said it, and I don't regret it. <laughs> oh my god, that felt so weird to say.
Well, that's all the questions I have, everyone. To the people who asked me a question but didn't get an answer, I'm so very sorry. I know you guys want me to answer more questions so you get to know more about me, but there's always so much that I can handle, but not too much when it comes to stuff like this. Now before I go, I want to say this again, thank you all for 600 subscribers. I'm truly honored that you guys are still here to keep me going. I don't know what will happen as we reach December, but hopefully it's a good one. Regardless, thank you for all the questions, and it's been fun answering them for you. With that being said, if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate it, take care, and I'll talk to you guys real soon. Have a nice day, ladies and gentlemen.